across America with Mega Jackpots. It's Mega Millions. The drawing for the big Mega Millions jackpot left us without a winner, but it raised the prize sum to a whopping $1.2 billion. Let's take a look by the numbers. The future lucky lotto winner will be faced with two options. Take the money now as a lump sum or in gradual payments, otherwise known as an annuity. While most winners usually go for the lump sum, experts say inflation isn't making that decision very easy at all anymore. If we believe that inflation will be here for a while, then you may want to consider taking the annuity versus taking the lump sum. The annuity is paid out as one immediate payment followed by 29 annual payments. Each of those payments is 5% bigger than the last. That helps protect you against inflation. Now, Lottery USA shows us a winner in Mississippi could take home $439 million cash money after taxes. But check this out. With 30 annuity payments over 29 years, the total jumps to more than $748 million, a more than $300 million bonus. And there are other benefits to choosing an annuity. Especially for a younger person that may not, may not have the, the skills and the ability to say no to certain purchases. It is not lighthearted advice. Since estimates show that 70% of lotto winners who choose the lump sum payments run out of money in five years or less. Also, who wins matters. Is it one person? Is it five people? Is it a family? If you are that lucky winner, most experts say do not sign the back of the ticket. Take it home, put it in a safe place, and then call a qualified professional who can help you claim the money and protect your interests. While the chance of getting a single ticket to hit the jackpot is roughly one in 302.5 million, there is always one winner in a lottery, and that's Uncle Sam. That is lotto by the numbers. Dennis Turner, The Delta News.